NASA alert, 100-foot asteroid along with four others rushing towards Earth. NASA, NASA has released a list of five upcoming asteroids including giant 100-foot space rock that is set to make a close encounter with Earth. Here is the list, guys. May 28th, published. Look at this. NASA uses an array of technology equipment such as ground based telescopes, radar systems, space based telescopes, observations, much more to track asteroids that have located as many as five incoming or coming towards Earth. Here's what they're saying we got coming big old rocks, big old rocks. Well, got something else to show. Now, Phil sent me these this morning, and uh, he was showing me how this object right here is being obfuscated from these lens arrays from the starshade, right? Let's go to the next one. And he's showing this the asteroid. I that big one right there. Now, this is not the sun right here. and. It's a sun simulator. But if you look at all this debris down here, some of it's debris, some of it's triangle debris. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a mystery. It's a enigma. What do they call them? Enigmas. So this enigma is pretty strange. Let me go on with this. This article um, shows you Starshade. It's like a giant flower. I've done a number of videos Starshade. And the object, the exoplanet out there, right? Here's a star, our sun. There's the exoplanet. So it could see these giant asteroids too. So it shows you here that new world order cost effective Starshade. So watch, I'm going to show you more. So like as we've said before, you know, Starshade puts out this flower. That's why we see those red flowers around the sun, you know, big pedestals. Petals, you know. But look at this. Here's your telescope. It puts the Starshade to block the sun rays, or binary sun rays, and to show you exoplanets. But mostly our sun, but it also could show you pictures like Phil's showing, like these. That's a sun simulator. Basically a giant alloy light bulb. I mean giant, football field size. But you can clearly see there's objects incoming. And let's go back to the first one. Right by the sun. It's, it's more towards us than the sun. And these objects and these lights all obfuscate everything. They can't obfuscate all this. Um, they don't think that's no big deal, but that's not normal, you see. And what what Bill does is his telescope, he uses a um, a, light, a dark house outside and a number of filters. And I asked him, just tell me how much I know how good they are. And he said about 600, 500, 600 bucks. So that's what you get, you know. I got a ton of these from Phil. Let me see if I can find a couple more for you of the last couple months. And here's some pictures that Phil sent me on March 28th. Now, that's an object right there. See, it's a yellow object. Some of this stuff is star shade. So let me go through a couple of these. Since we got the baby pictures out. And this is stuff that's by the Sun Simulator. Sun Simulator is hiding a lot because it glares the sky. I mean, I don't remember the 70s having white light in the sky. Anyways, he shows me a number of these pointing out. Uh, different objects, you know. This one he didn't give much explanation for. But, like, I think that's a real object. I think these are lens, flare, lens arrays, you know, from the sun simulator right there. See, it's not a, it's not a light bulb on Earth. This is what he's picking up beside the sun. And we see a lot of beside the sun pictures. And he usually shows. Now, Phil, I believe, worked with NASA, and I believe he's retired. So he, he, he throws these out, 20 or 30 people get them. Most people don't know how to explain it, neither do I, but you know, I understand Starshade because of him, 
You know, what are these things? Are they crafts? Are they UFOs? Are they, what are they? And so it's just dirt from his room. No, it ain't. Nobody spends this much time sending pictures. You know. Let me see if I can find you some more. Now, these right here, I really liked. You can really see that light bulb effect. That is not the sun, guys. And these filters you have, it just, you know, you couldn't point your camera at the sun. It would burn up the optics inside the, the levers and devices and stuff. It would, look at that. Look at that rock. That's the rock he's showing right there. Let's see, here's another one. All clear. Look at that object over there. So, you know, um, I, I've been seeing, feel stuff. Look at the shape of this sun. Yeah, sun simulator. It's all to obfuscate it so you don't see what's happening. That's why they don't care about money. Um, I think it was Jake who sent me something. I had these rays coming out, right? Look at this, Jake. The rays. So now everything... I don't put up YouTube no more because they, they basically stopped me from doing anything. Threatening me. Um, but all this is part of Sun's uh, starshade. They can't hide the small ships and rocks and whatever the debris is. See, there's no more on this one. Yeah, I'm going to call it quits, guys. Make sure you follow my channel on Facebook. It's Chris Fennell, Celestial Watchers. And I have a number of groups, a number of pages. You want to be invited and I haven't yet, just go ahead and text me or message me, I mean. I'm always around. I'm working all the time. And I work online. So I'll see you then. Have fun, guys. Check it out. Share this video to at least 10 people. Please. According to NASA, Ida and Dectile, I think that's how you say his name, Ida and Dectile, right here, asteroid and moon, this is a little teeny moon, that's a big asteroid. The asteroid has a moon. The robot spacecraft Gileo en route to Jupiter in 1993 encountered this photograph two asteroids during a long implementary voyage. The second minor planet is photographed. Ida and unexpectedly discover a moon. The tiny moon Dectile is only about 1.6 across and see a small lot on the right side of the sharpened featured image. In contrast, potato shaped Ida much larger, measuring about 60 kilometers. Um, blah, blah. Dectile is the first moon and asteroid ever discovered. Now, many asteroids are known to have moons. The names Ida and Dectile is from the Greek mythology. Now, with, coupled with the report that I'm just putting out right now, I want to add this to the bottom. Um, this could be what's going on. That's why they're showing the picture. HT Tech reported that there was four large asteroids. If one's got a moon, let me know. That's all I'm asking. All right. So uh, follow up with the larger video and they're both going to be uploaded together. So I will put money on this and we'll push it out. You guys 
Share it as much as you can because people need to know what's going on in the skies. Talk to you later.